My name is Josiah Citrin. I am the chef owner of Malise Restaurant in Santa Monica, California. Well, Santa Monica's Farmer's Market is probably one of the first and one of the greatest markets in the country. I have been going there since before I even got into cooking with my mom back when it started. My family is always big proponents of getting fresh ingredients from the farmers who grew them. Hi, Chef Ruth. How you doing? The farmer's market is definitely a social experience. So it's always great just, you know, interacting with people there and just everybody's there for the same love of food, which is amazing about it. It should be nice just simply roasted in a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Nice. These are just taken out of the ground yesterday. Yeah. Amazing. So when we were shopping today, I wasn't necessarily looking for leeks. I saw the leeks, I said, wow, these are really thin and tender, and I rarely see them like that, ever that thin and tender. And I saw the potatoes she had. Instantly I thought to myself, potatoes and leeks. And I just thought I can make it together. The flavor is great together. I took a half chicken, took it off the carcass, and then I removed the wing bones. And then I also took out the leg by sliding my knife along the leg bone and the thigh bone and going underneath it and kind of gently removing all the flesh from the bone of the leg. So then I basically had one piece of half a chicken. And I kind of opened up the uh, tenderloin inside. I opened it up so I had meat all the way through. What I was doing basically, I'm creating a chicken that's almost the same thickness all the way through. So the breast and leg will cook evenly. Most of the time it takes longer to cook the leg than it does the breast. And then what I did was I seasoned it with a little salt on both sides. And then I spread over it a chimichurri sauce, like just a regular, you know, salsa verde, you know, vinegar, different herbs, olive oil, garlic, shallots. And then I added to it pickled mustard seeds and smoked paprika. So then I just cover that over the chicken, let that marinate for like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Then I placed the skin side down and I slowly cooked it on a medium high flame in a pretty hot pan until it got very crispy and maybe cooked halfway through from the bottom up. And then I threw that in the oven about 500 degrees and let it cook all the way through checking it. So I never flipped it over on the flesh side. So I always was protecting the flesh from that hot, intense heat of the pan. Once it was done, I took it out, I flipped it over and I sliced it up. And I served it with just some of the potatoes and leeks and garlic we bought at the market today, where I simply just roasted the potatoes off until they were lightly cooked, where I crushed the garlic inside the skin. We call it crushed in the skin. I threw that in with it, and after it was like halfway cooked, I put the leeks and tossed them, a little salt and pepper, which I put towards the end because I didn't want to lose the liquid in the potatoes. So I wanted to get a nice crust on the potato. If you put salt in potatoes, it draws out the liquid. So once it was nicely browned, just kind of mix it up. I had a little bit of chicken stock, butter, and olive oil, and I just threw it in the oven and just let it finish cooking until it's cooked all the way through. At Melise is so different, everything is exactly like planned out to the detail and cooking like that is so fun to me too. Just throwing it together and just making it come out delicious and fun. So it's a pretty easy party item, oh, right? Yeah. Basically putting it on a plate, you know, I think in, in the U.S. like a lot of times you see people do like a cheese plate to start But this is more of the appetizer, right? Yeah, these are one of the things that you're popping in while you're drinking some wine along with yeah, it. Yeah. Speaking of wine, I do have some we're gonna taste today. Awesome. For the wines, I think Riesling from Alsace is really the best. But in Alsace, they've been making Riesling for a very long time and it's almost always dry.